Welcome back to Our Programming 101. My name is Greg Martin. We are talking about GG Save, right? This is how to, how do you save your plots that you produce with GG Plot, and how do you do it in a way that you can really c control the parameters, the the height, the width, the dots per inch, the kind of file that it is. You can you can control every aspect of what it is that you save. I'm going to teach you how to do that in this code, in this video, so don't go away, let's do this giddy up. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Just to let you know, as always, well, certainly at the moment, and we'll see if this changes with time, there is a PDF that you can download. There'll be a card at the end of this video. You can click on the card, and that'll give you the code that I use, and the explanatory notes and at the end of the pdf there are also qr codes that you can scan in with your phone you can even re-watch this video from that qr code there's other videos you can watch there's courses you can do and you can of course click on these links let's jump right into this video it's a pretty short video because there's not a lot to explain here it's reasonably straightforward when you produce a ggplot right like this one over here this code over here, miles per gallon, it's a data set, by the way, that you have on your computer. You can repeat everything I do in these lessons at home. It'll produce this plot right over here. Now, we can then just type in GG save, file name, just so that you know, it is by default going to save the file in your working directory, right? Whenever you're working in R, you have a working directory. That's where R knows to save all of the files save and fetch all of the files that you're working with. You may want to specify within your working directory that you have a subfolder into which all of your graphics go, right? You might call it a subfolder called graphics. If that is the case, then you indicate the path to that in the file name itself, right? So that's important. The next thing I just want to point out here is that we've got code for the plot, and then I'm just going straight into GG save here, and I'm not saying what plot it should save. It will, by default, just save the most recent plot that you've created. Arguably, the more correct way of doing this is to assign this plot to an object. Let's say P, uh, and then we could assign it. We could assign this entire plot to an object, and then we could say, put the, make the first argument. We, we make the first argument in GG save. P for that object, P comma, and then blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to do that now. The reason I don't like doing that is I, when I write code, I try to create as fewer objects as possible. Because especially if you're working on quite a big project, you can land up in your environment with tens of objects and it becomes very cluttered and messy. If you don't need to create an object, then don't, in my view. Anyway, once we've got the file name, dot, you have to say what kind of file it is. PNG is a nice high quality output then you can specify width, height, units in centimeters, so the height and the width are measured in centimeters, dots per inch, 300, or you could put in any, and there are other arguments, by the way, you know, you could, you could look into other arguments that you might want to include here, but then you save it, it'll put it in your working directory or in a subdirectory if you've specified as much. Okay, that's enough for me. This is just an introduction to GG Save. nothing too complicated. You can click on the link at the moment on, on the card and that's on the screen at the moment if you want to download that PDF. Hope you're doing well. Speak to you soon. Watch another video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.